day fam people how are you I'm doing well and today we are back with Dark Souls and as you can see in the bottom right I have 20,000 souls because I went to the dragon area and kept on respawning the enemies by going to campfires and thus basically just spawn camping them by using the dragon to burn them to death and I'm heading back down to uh, the dark area that way I can buy the other magic spell and then I'm going to level up my uh, intelligence and then use magic I'm gonna kill that moonlight butterfly. You die. You may not have a personal quarrel, but when you get to live, you die. Die too. stuff. Uh, purchase oh, item, yes. Oh yeah, that cost me 4,000 souls. I'm sorry, <laughs> I've heard that too many times. Not too many times, but the second time I've heard it. I don't really care. Oh! New area! I'm not risking my souls right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back to that. But I have the last game, that's useful. I get that you're minding your own business, but don't. Please, it's my personal game. It matters a lot. I like how the lower NPCs just, uh, they always stay there. Also, I have got four humanity in the top left. Pretty sure I got that. I think it's a random drop when you're, um, killed. Soul units. Considering I did it. Since you get 555 souls each time you do the thing, and I had 20,000 souls, I've been doing it for I've done it quite enough time, so maybe it's just a rare drop. Who knows? All I know is I'm coming up here and I am losing my money. I have to get my intelligence up to 12. Probably should have checked before I started recording that I can actually get up to intelligence up to 12. I'm sure it'll be fine. There's no way 16,000 isn't enough. Why did I think of the I've just been getting so used to it. Yep, we have enough. It only cost me 11 for that. Oh, it only cost me. I can't tell which one. It says required souls. I think that's just for one level, though. Okay, so that's enough. Uh, vitality, that means I can carry more. Definitely useful. And dexterity, that could go up a bit. 13, yeah, that's why not. 3,000 souls. So that means I could use the catalyst. Sorcerer's catalyst. Yes. This, so those are arrows and bolts. How do I use this? I don't know. I get it, I should be serious, waste money. Okay, fair enough. So how does this work? I'm about to mess with the up. Okay, so soul arrows. You know, for now, I'm going to stick to using uh, the S stock. It's my weight, it's a thrusting weapon, which means I can use it whilst having a shield up. And then I'm going to go explore that area down there. Once I'm done with that, then we can go have a rematch with the Moonlight Butterfly because nothing needs to die. Has it personally done much to me? Nah. Does it deserve to die regardless? No. It killed me a few times and that's already enough reason for me to go back there. Is it nonsensical? Yeah. Does it matter? No. 
usually the logic is the main thing that uh, works in this channel. Oh boy, you are dead wrong. Yeah, I like to think I'm a logical thinker at times, but uh, not in this case, not in this case at all. What's the heavy attack here? Hey, bro, I was joking, it was a joke. Man, you suck. Ano Londo, what is these places with the Londos? Anyway, let's check out here. Valley of Drakes, hmm. I wonder what that was. Oh, more money. I like that money. Is this gonna break underneath me and I'm gonna die? Let's hope not. Imminent despair. I did. What did he. Need luring it. What is about to happen here? Uh. You know, I think this is a brilliant time to start using magic. Um, Sorcerer's Catalyst, yes, okay. Um, these guys are the guys they're talking about, right? Surely. That did not do a lot of damage. You know what, I'm gonna just run away for now. Good idea to me. Surely they can't cross the bridge though. They can't like travel the entire country to We can talk about this bro. It doesn't have to be like this. You know if you keep chasing me, one of us is gonna die. He's still chasing me, I'm, I'm going the other way. So the soul arrow is not as powerful as I thought it'd be. And I can also only have one spell. Oh, I think that's what the achievement stat is for, so that way I can upgrade my... Isn't there a achievement stat? Honestly, I don't know anymore, but clearly the normal soul arrow isn't gonna cut it. And since it's a moon magic butterfly, whatever, I got a feeling they're gonna be very tolerant towards magic. About, I just avoid those two brutes over there. They are not worth my time. Also, not worth risking 3,000 souls. Yeah, I could easily make that back. It's not about the effort, it's more about the time. How boring it is. Is that a dragon? I mean, it looks pretty dead. Is that. No, that has to be a dragon. It's in Valley of Drakes, and that looks really wing like. Yeah, that's a dragon. Please tell me it's dead. Please, please, please. You're... I mean, that looks pretty dead to me, right? If it is not dead, I'm going to be very, very scared. Yeah, that's dead. That thing's dead. It's not dead! It's not dead! It's not dead! I'm so I got a new shield! Let's go! Oh, you got to admit, that thing looked really, really dead. Okay, change of equipment. What do I really have? I got like all of these stuff, but I'm probably not going to use most of it. Humanity, that's something I guess. Okay, achievement. Yep, we're going to use the heavy soul arrow, because that's more powerful, right? Now if you'll excuse me, I have to go all the way back there to collect my souls. Because there is no, uh, what is it called? Uh, bonfire. Back down. Yahoo. I almost regret going down there now. I'm assuming because I have to use the master key that I'm really under level for this. Like ridiculously so. Because uh, you know, you s the master key is basically just early access to everything in the area, which is not a good thing for somebody like me who is playing this for the first time and thus does not have the skills to make up for my lack of power. I like to think I'm a skilled gamer, I'm pretty good at positioning and all that, but I suck at aiming and reflexes, which are two very important things for both FPS and Dark Souls. So, uh, yeah, not good for me. Honestly, I'm just gonna take my number out on you, I'm sorry. You don't deserve this. But I'm a little snatch. You get to live, though. You're, you're, you're just not cool. you're nothing. Yeah, this is the right. 
Valley of Drapes. At least time it's not gonna be like, oh, every time I try to get there. Oh wait, I didn't even bother checking out the shield. What's the shield like? So we got that one. I mean, it's a downgrade by the looks of it. Same weight, it's got, I think the, the gray one that says 300, I think that means it's got better durability, but it's got less protection. So it's got 64 versus 62. And it doesn't have any higher magic, fire, or electric protection or support. So I already have a better shield. I mean, it looks cool. But. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That thing is conscious now. It is very alive. And it will one shot me. And if I die, then that means those 3,000 souls, they're down the drain. Where's my souls? Oh, it's noticed me! Okay, I got an idea, I got an idea. Change equipment. Please tell me it's got like really low HP. Where's my, where's my catalyst? There it is. I didn't even hit it. A heavy soul arrow did not even hurt it that much. anything to use talismans so I just said uh, miracles so I literally have nothing here place my souls I don't care Forget probably, I definitely deserve that. Also, why am I wearing armor right now? It's not protecting me, I'm getting one shotted regardless. Well, now I have to go all the way back there again. But let's first start check out Astora's Greatsword 80, so it's less than the Broadsword, but it does 80 magic damage. Look, it's got the blue, that means it does magic. Okay, yeah, we're using the Astora's Greatsword. What are the stats requirements? What do I need? I need 14 faith. That's what the star is, right? Okay, hold on. Can I, how much does that cost? Level up. Faith, faith, faith. Uh, faith. Required souls, 3,000. What? Okay, so a store is great sword. Store is great sword. I do not have the requirements to meet, so I'm not going to use it yet. But I will come back to it. Also, what again? Hold on, let me uh, test something out. Human magic. E, and then we're gonna change it for the soul arrow because I get 30 uses. It's gonna do less damage, but maybe it'll do me a little more damage over time. Anyway, change equipment. You guys are completely useless. Literally, the only thing that matters right now is the magic. I suppose we can keep the shield. It doesn't really change my weight that much. movement speed god it does feel nice and I can see why everybody uh, seemed to be using no armor and things because it's just so much nicer to go full speed ahead oh ah, well I've wasted like 10 minutes of the video I've gotten very little accomplished beyond leveling up and getting some magic and dying twice okay so it seems that when you try to uh, Actually, now that I think about it, there is used to wearing the armor because it gives me some kind of poison resistance, right? Yeah, look at that. There's more resistance against the elements. 
It is actually a good idea to wear armor. So, let's put it on and let's see how this goes. I might as well send this up. I don't think I'm making a return journey. But if I will, at least it will sound fine when I come back. Also, I've got 10 flasks. Why do I have 10? I have no humanity anymore. I think I died and I just lost it. Christ, humanity is such an annoying thing. I mean, it's very important, you know, mod main stuff. But it's so easy to die in Dark Souls, you know, dying simulator, basically. So, it's all disappointing to see uh, this. Anyway, so, from what it looks like, the dragon only kills you if you try to go for the main items around it. So, I think my soul should be relatively fine. It does, however, mean I'm going to die when I try to pick up the other item there. Which I will. I don't care if I die again. I will have to pick up these again. souls again you get the uh things back. okay so i'm assuming this is the valley of the drakes and would you look at that there are a lot of drakes here oh my goodness this is not safe i'm also gonna assume they can breathe fire to some good hey why can't i lock onto you there you go that, is nothing. that really didn't do a lot Okay, yeah, I finally figured it out. I am not supposed to be here. Um, yeah, let's put on the S-Stock and let's just leave, you know? I can leave my pride and dignity somewhat intact. I got the items I wanted. This is clearly a later game area. That dragon I can just forget about for now. Even though, in theory, should already be dead looking at it. It's got no eyes, no soul, no... Taking your right. But what I can now do is <coughs> cough um, and go over to the other area. The one that I was also like, nope, that's not a good idea. This is like a brilliant idea to me, you know, go deeper into this hellhole. Oh, this is gonna be. Ooh, I've heard it. I think this leads to Blight Town. That might make sense as to why they're like, oh, I did it. Please tell me this isn't actually Blight Town. Please, 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 please. If so, I'm again ridiculously underprepared for this. And what are these things? Why are these things? This is Blight Town. Yep, this is like I'm peacing out. No, nope. I'd rather go fight the Moonlight Butterfly again. Yep, this this ain't it. This ain't it. Excuse me. Boy, oh boy, I'm leaving. This ain't worth it. I do not care. I'm not going to Flight Town, not yet. So I'll, I'm gonna go fight the Moonlight Butterfly. That sounds like a far better bet in my eyes. Yeah, need luring out. I don't get that one. I do get the imminent despair and urge uh, for that. I did it. Oh boy. Well, it looks like I am making a return journey. I got the loot I wanted. I was about to say who's making that noise, but you know, I'll let you live. And it does look like I can level up my faith again, so I'll get close to using the Stora Sword, which I know it's not. I just heard that it's not a good idea to have mixed stats, you know, magic and normal damage. But when you consider that by default their normal damage is equal to the other straight swords normal damage, or around the same, plus magic, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to use it late game and stuff, leveling it, but uh, I will, however, use it early game because it looks goated. Granted, the shield is just a downgrade from it to this. But you know, 
You can't be completely amazing in every regard, can you? Ah, oh, that's good to be back. Oh, it's the woman that refuses to talk to me. I'm not going to reinforce the SS Fox. Because I have a feeling that something bad will happen once I do that. That, I swear, it always gives me a heart attack when I just see somebody there. Like, why are you there? Um, never mind. Okay, you know what? I'm out of spite. I'm going to go to browse equipment. This is probably gonna be worth like a. Like, oh, that's not bad. Now, now I can level up faith a bit. What does it mean? Why, why does it say I've got 2,115? I have 3,369. What is it talking about? Why is this game. Okay. Six thousand souls. Oh, so I can do it. What is it saying about the required souls and all that then? Because at level twelve is the most I can get to. So now I've got three thousand souls. Can't level anything up anymore. Oh well, life goes on, you know, you know. I'm gonna stick to soul arrows, I mean they're not really that fit, okay, you know, screw I'm not. Rest up on fire, attune magic, I'll use the heavy, because that seems better. But I might switch it out later. It looks like I don't really have much options in terms of handling them, uh, you know, like butterflies and magic. But that's okay! This is so much fun! It's gonna be fun learning how to dodge all of that, though, right? Plus, the armor still protects me in some regard. Yeah, I know, medium rolling is inferior to light rolling. Because you know more invincibility frame stuff, but you don't understand my timing is so poor, I kinda... That doesn't matter, I'm probably gonna be in regardless. With this, I'll have a bit more chance of 10 Eskis Fosks. Yeah, I think I'll have pretty good odds of living. It's dead ahead, right? I really hope it is. I really hope dead ahead is the right direction. That I'm not getting cornered by this giant. Right? Right, game? Yeah, I'm not getting cornered. Yeah, they're not going to come down here. There's no way. There's no way they come down here. Well, it actually doesn't matter since I'm just going to... Okay, so 10 Estus flasks and the stick. Yeah, I, I've got a pretty good feeling about this. Okay, what's the stats I need for this? 15 dexterity. I don't think I. How much? How far am I away? Dexterity 13. So, okay. Once I kill the moonlight butterfly, I should be able to use the wing spear, and I, th I think it's pretty good. Probably. I got a good feeling about it. Uh, I can't wait to be laughed at in the comment section, or at least laughed at when somebody watches this. Somebody who actually knows what they're doing. Straight sword hilt, so just broken sword. How's this? I mean, it's got the combo. So I land obviously has more damage, but uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Yeah, it's like really slow. I don't think that's gonna work really effectively with me. 80, 110, Albert, Albert's pretty good by the looks of it, the Albert, let's try it, again it's got a really, really slow swing speed, because I need DPS, so I think, 
I really want to get be able to use this, the storage space sword. One, it looks cool. But again, we'll have to be patient, you know. I'll first try to uh, uh, upgrade my faith to use this, and then I'll upgrade dexterity. But for now, I think I'll just stick to using. Auto does 82 damage, S lock 75. Technically, the Morning Star seems better. Oh, I see its movement speed. Ah, but it's fast now, Mark, so it's far. Let me try this again. I'm sorry if I'm running. Yeah, this is way faster. Okay, I'm sticking to the broadsword. For this, at least. We'll use that, and then once we get into the boss fight, we'll initially use magic with the heavy blasts. And then we'll go to. Hello, old friend! You know, one day I'm gonna. Oh my god. Well, there goes one of my extra extras fast that I thought I was gonna be using for this fight. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Well, at least this place looks peaceful. I'm not even gonna bother fighting. I wonder, could I just rip off one of their arms and then use it as a whip? Also, I still want to get over there. Yeah, anyway, I feel like I'm getting slightly better at the dodging aspect of this game though. Which is good because this main game is all about dodging and dying and respawning and trying not to die and improving. Anyway, I need a, uh, a Taurus' crest for that door to open. I know uh, quite a bit about the uh, Taurus door, basically legend. How you summarize all of this lore. Now, let's see how long I can go in this boss fight, because I'm not doing it first try. At least I don't think I'll be able to. I mean, I've got nine flasks, and last time I had like six. I still don't know how my flasks have doubled. Just can somebody explain that in the comment section? Oh, I'll just research it. I should probably research it. Do my own goddamn research. Stop searching up lore videos. Is it? Yep, there we go. Where are you? There you are, you bitch. Are you kidding me? Why did that just do damage? Oh, that's because I was supposed to dodge that one. It's not the ones I want to dodge. Ow. I'm doing good, good damage. Where's the broadsword? Where's the broadsword? Nope, 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 nope. Take that, you know. Eh, yeah, you suck. I just messed up that cast entirely, didn't I? Yep. I'm gonna run out of casts. I'm doing decent damage though. I'm also taking quite a lot of damage. I almost jumped right into one. I have no right to have survived now. I just ate that. Why did I... Okay, I'm gonna die here. What is that? Okay, I'll take it. I mean, you're standing still. Now, I'm 
lot of heals. I got nothing. Um, yeah, I was just gonna eat that. I'm just gonna stay far away from you. Yeah, because then they're just gonna... Okay, so I figured out a strategy. Just stay as far away as possible. Then they'll always use the um, range attack. And if they just use that... They do not only use the range attack. Okay, that you're cheating by coming over. That's why you're able to hit me. You're just a filthy cheater. Suck. I could pop my humanity to gain some health back, but I'm not going to do that. I don't want to use my humanity for that. Save it for when I need it, because I only have like one. But that had no right to hit me. That hit the tip of my shield. It didn't even hit me. Is it healing? Oh, that's so trash. It's healing. Yeah, look at that. It's, it's just healed. You piece of trash. In theory, I should have just double handled it. I don't know why I didn't. I'm sorry, you can go up and high. What was that thing? Okay, so I did 83 damage. Hold on, okay. Google Dark Souls Soul Arrow versus Heavy Soul Arrow. What's the difference between. Uh, how much damage is the great? What, why is it talking about the great heavy soul arrow? I just want to know the heavy. Why is it? Oh my god! Dark Souls arrow, but uh, butterfly fight. I can't spell today, can I? Butterfly fight. I'm a primary type of stuck in a fireball or a soul. Arrow attracts the enemy you're locked on. Should I try shooting it? You can hit the butterfly with the fireball too. No, let's go. I'm going to switch to the normal soul arrow. 30. Honestly, don't know what I'm doing anymore. Okay, tune magic. Let's try the normal soul arrow. It's got 30 casts. Maybe that will give me better odds. Why is my humanity the first thing I see when I'm trying to... Okay, now I'm back to 5, which means my chances of surviving have just drastically decreased. I have half the amount of Estus Blast. Do, if I rest again, do I get them back? I don't get how it works. No. I don't get them back. Okay, I don't know how that works with the Estus Blast. Somebody comment it down below, I'd really appreciate that. Tough enemy ahead. I mean, yeah, I guess. Oh, this guy's probably... Hard. This guy's harder than the other demon. The silent demon at the beginning of the game. Granted, that is just a total loss. But still. I can't wait to kill the Moonlight Butterfly. It's gonna be great. Also, but I can't wait to uh, wait for this video to upload. It's gonna take me like an hour or two. Any game that isn't tabbed this long, or you know, any game in general that isn't tabbed, takes forever to upload. Well, I upload slightly longer than normal, but it's trying to upload to HD is so much longer, which makes sense, you know, tabs is far less graphical based game and stuff, so I guess it's easier, but gosh darn, I wouldn't, it's kind of annoying when I'm trying to upload a two hour long Lethal Company video, it's like 45 hours, to upload it mainly due to HD. Ok, 
Okay, change equipment. Let's activate this catalyst. And let's take this slow and patient. Where are you? There you are. Okay, so that just didn't track. So 20 damage. 20 damage versus like, what, 83? And I've just wasted so many shots. I've wasted six shots. Why? Why did I do that? Oh my god. He did that like, and then tried to heal. Stuck at the animation. Okay, so Soul Arrow is just not good. You know, you get two and a half times, roughly two and a half times the amount of arrows, and it's just not worth it. Five Estus flasks, got the build ready. What is. Yeah, I don't think double handling is gonna help at all with this. I can do a blocking stance a bit, which is weird, but maybe that's just a weapon I think that's a good Oh well, does it matter? Chosen Undead is not worth it. It's supposed to be some kind of great honor. What are you doing? And I just threw myself off the map. Oh my, that means all my souls and humanity are gone since I've died twice in a row without getting to the same location. This is why I don't use the lock on system. I just lost 3,000 souls and 4 humanity. Oh. How wonderful. I love that. Well, it is what it is. We just gotta keep going in the end. Come on, you stupid weed bush. Come and fight me, lad. Yep, do one swing, then I move, and then you go to try swinging me from behind. Nice. I recovered literally nothing. You dick! And all that. Uji Katana, that's so cool! But I can't get it! Oh no! Oh, I hate that. Yeah, this was not a good game for me to get. One, I like the skill and reflexes and just general patience. And more importantly, uh, this is just not my type of game in general. Well, it looks cool and stuff. I actually dodged something. Dodged a somewhat bossy like guy. Boss, but it's basically a mini boss. Who knows, maybe one day I'll come back when I finish the game and I'm going to destroy him immediately. I know there's new game plus in this. Nice. You, you suck for life. You have maybe caused my death twice, which has caused me to lose all the souls. And I still don't know how to get over there. Maybe uh, that's probably after the moon. I say probably, but it definitely is. And now I'm in within one shot uh, distance to the moon butterfly because then there's that three hit attack it gets me. Then it, and I'm done. So it is the easiest angle. If you uh, if you ask me, it would be easier if all of them, all of the hit attacks were just that three attack. But no, it has to have like that shotgun blast. Which just can't see the door. Why are these guys just lying on the floor? Like, you might get the occasional guy who's just surprised by that, but that's how long it takes to get up. It would have been better if they just pretended to be statues. That way they'd be able to swing their weapon a whole lot faster, since they wouldn't have to waste time getting up. I don't get it. And I don't think there's an in-law explanation as to why they do that. I think it's just a gameplay thing to catch somebody off guard the first time they play. Where does that even come from? 
Oh, it's already here. There's no one attacking initially because it's just not going to work. It's only once it starts attacking that's when you know it, that you can shoot back. Relatively safely. And its attacks still have tracking. Dodge that second one. I don't know what. Screw you. Genuinely, bottom of my heart, just screw you. Okay, I should. I would have been probably going to get there. I would have deserved it. The moment I click the fire button, I'm getting hit, I know that. That I deserve. Are you kidding me? It's already gone. Honestly, why do I bother with the whole lock on system and dodging? Hey, I didn't get hit there. Okay, so yeah, this is basically right the Stay far away. Yeah, that's gonna get hit by that. Technically, at this angle, I should be safe. Oh, I found a way. Where there's a will, there's a way, and I found a way to cheese this. Oh, you would love to see it. Hey, not so powerful. Nah, I, I, I was joking, I was joking. It was a prank, bro. Chill, chill. Can't be mad at that first shot hitting me. Stop tracking my movements, that's cheap. Should be fair that you can actually fight and shoot me. Oh my god, that attack is so annoying. That, like, they're perfectly paced that you can't punch the second one properly. But at least it feels that way. Well, if you can dodge the first one properly, then yeah, it's fine. Dodge. I don't even know why. About using the shield anymore. It's Come on, can you could just go over around the other side that way I can cheese you again? That didn't hit me. What do you mean that real choo choo? That didn't even hit me. Also, why was I not using the heavy swords? I still had eight. Oh, you know why I didn't? Okay, you know what? I'm going to a tutorial. YouTube, how do I handle this? How do, how do I do this? YouTube. Dark Souls Moonlight Butterfly Tutorial How to kill the mut mut Moonlight Butterfly? I'm about to say Mutterfly. Let's go. Okay, so they're using the Claymore and a shield. They have minimal armor on. By the way, I'm watching this YouTuber called Ghost Initiative. The Ghost Initiative. I just searched up uh, Dark Souls Moonlight Butterfly tutorial, and that's how I found it. Oh, so they've already beaten like other bosses. They got the Gargoyle Tail Axe, which is I'm pretty sure from the Gargoyle. The, boss. the differences, gameplay-wise, are really exactly what you'd expect. That roll. The guard. And here we go. Now it's coming in the land, getting as much damage as possible. Okay, so they've got like all these upgrades and stuff. Okay, so I'm clearly ridiculously underleveled for everything I've been trying to do this entire game. Is let him. A you know, what, I'm just gonna go to the uh, Fighting Cowboy YouTube channel and we'll see how they we'll take care of the process. <laughs> so they've gone through all of this. They've met uh, Soler. They got a bow and arrow. Dark Souls, where to find bow and arrow. You can buy one from the undead merchant for a 3,000 souls, or there is one at the Dark Root Basin on a ledge. You need 14 decks to use it. Dark Root Basin. Dark Root Basin. I've been to Dark Root Basin, haven't I? 
at the edge. So that's that's the Moonlight Butterfly area. So somewhere there's a bow around there. And with that bow, I can go do something. You don't you sell bow stuff? Well, hello again. Shut up. You seem to be doing all Shut right. up, I'm not. I'm really Need not. Anything You're forged. a respectful man and I respect that, but I I can't. Not today. So Titanite Shard, Consuming Souls, cost 800, that's how I upgrade weapons. 20,000 to get the Crystal Artorias. Valid. Uh, so he sells all of these. Bastard Sword, Broadsword. Bastard Sword looks good damage wise. 105? That's good. The War Pick, not so much. Pikes, probably going insane. Oh, the Town Guy, I put that. Can you just shield? Yeah, so they've got that and they've got a bunch of standard arrows. So I'm gonna have to come back to that. I'll be seeing you then. So dark. That is that area, right? So at the edge. That might be the edge we saw earlier. The one we can't reach. Also, apparently, the merchant sells one for a thousand that requires four decks. You can buy one from the Undead Merchant. That's somewhere. Initial equipment for Hunter, sold by there. Drop by Skeleton, the drop by Undead Archer. So those two drop it, obviously. Okay. To find. Where do I find the Undead Merchant? Location is found on the porch ledge, first bonfire at Undead Berg. Where the hell is Undead Berg? How to find the Undead? How's it going? Okay, so. Bold and bearded. Please, enlighten me. Oh, Kidoki. I found their general location, fair enough. The staircase here. Destroy the- Oh, so there's a staircase hidden by, uh, things. Fair. And they sell a short bow, nice, okay. I'm learning things, I'm learning. Though I still need money, which means I'm gonna have to kill something. You know, if there's somebody who's deserved a good thrashing for a while, it's this thing. So, let's try this out. Two can play at that game. It's just one who can play really well at it. Why does it keep doing that? Why is it like, ooh, I can't. I can't. Like, stop doing that game. It was funny once, it's not funny. Well, it was never funny. Oh, it's not fair. They can shoot way faster because they've got like better stats. But outside of jokes and stuff, that is actually quite a Watch that, and then fire. Watch one, and then you want to fire. I feel proud of myself, you know, I'm, I'm learning something. And then it's nearly dead. I don't think I have enough to kill it because I messed up in the shot. But this should give me a good amount of souls. I mean, I hate that. Because that's probably some of the most terrible damage I've taken in a while. Okay. What weapon can I do? You know, we use the uh, raw sword, why not? Finally over, you're dead. 2,000 souls, I'll take it. And Demon Titanite, that's for upgrading things, isn't it? Like uh, legendary weapons. From fallen bosses. But I haven't killed any bosses, really, so. I mean, I technically killed uh, two of them, but they're kind of like low tier bosses, so. 2,000 souls, okay, so the bow thing costs like. What? I think it was uh, 1,000 souls from the undead guy. Well, so I'm gonna again. buy a bunch you of arrows. Seem to be doing all right. 
Need anything forged? No, but I do need arrows. So standard arrow, large arrows. I'm gonna go with a bunch of standard arrows. No, 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 no. We, I think I'll stick to having like. We'll go with 50. 50 seems pretty safe. And wooden arrows will also go for 50. They are a lot cheaper wooden arrows, but 50 should be fine. Don't get yourself killed. What does it matter if I die? I'll just come back, okay? Anyway, now I've got to make a giant run all the way back to where the dragon is, and I can get the goods. Oh boy, this is a lot of backtracking stuff. You know, if I actually played the game skillfully and properly, I need to just. I used to just go to YouTube and search up a tutorial on like how to play the entire playthrough. That way, I should do it correctly. Granted, it is probably pretty funny seeing me go the wrong way, but it's only funny like after the first one or twice, and then afterwards it's just like, Ugh. excuse me, I'm not interested in any of you right now. Where I need to be is elsewhere, so I'm just gonna peace out here. Goodbye. Yeah, I'll come back to kill that uh, giant shield guy in one day, okay, once I've actually got some good stats. I don't know if I'd say that I have enough really good stats, so I've got better equip mode, I've got two more two points of equip mode. Hello, Firelink Shrine. Fortunately, this is just a visit and not a stay, so yeah, uh, do that as you will. Just be killing a dragon this video. No! I see that and almost kill. Oh, I just killed myself, didn't I? Oh, I'm still alive. I was so certain I just died there twice, and now I have died. No, I'm still alive somehow, even though I have absolutely no right to be alive right now. I have. If I don't get killed by this fire flame, I will survive this encounter. The rat is gonna bother with me. Wow. I'm oh, fine. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna watch a tutorial about uh, early weapons and stuff and what bosses I'm actually supposed to be fighting. Okay, so there are apparently boxes somewhere in this map. Yes, very descriptive, I know. Also, I can definitely jump over that. Hey, good sir. I'm not even gonna bother with that. They basically carry themselves. Okay, so back to the video. Bob's over here. Okay, so that's like further in. It's further into the area, so... Just gotta... Continue pushing through, I guess. Hello, so I'm gonna kill you just because I can. There is basically no incentive. Nor was there any incentive to destroy these boxes, but join the physics, because that's something I can do. Again, that is somewhere I definitely could reach. But the game says no, so I don't. Doesn't even matter, I can just be here. Be wary of the dragon. I Okay, so the game just doesn't want me to go there yet. Maybe never. Okay, I think it's over there to my right. Yeah, you see the boxes there. Which I never paid attention to. Why would I? Who would expect that to be there? So this is an entire area that I've been missing out on. Okay, I deserve that. I think some of the boxes are actually blocking them, because I didn't destroy all the boxes up there. So yeah, I've been missing out on this secret area. I was about to say, like, panic time? No, because look at these guys, they're barely alive themselves. Hell, I just tanked that dude. 
I've hit some decent damage, but I'm still only human technically, even if I'm the chosen one. You will eventually join the dark side. Hey, it's not Vader, boys. Isn't that funny? Yeah, I, I probably missed out on so much detail due to not really paying attention. On that. My bad. I, uh, there was also throwing knives. Nice. Can I make like any sort of significant jump? Oh, that's back to where the beginning was, isn't it? Yeah, because. Oh, so this is the part. Okay. I really wish there was a faster way to go down here, but I'm, I guess it makes sense. This game's like slower pace than the other Dark Souls, even though I haven't played them. I've seen the videos. Elden Ring's to the point where it's just ridiculous. I would not survive an Elden Ring at all unless I just went full mage. Hello! What's the message? Imminent enemy. Oh, yes, of course. Hello. Well now, oh, you seem nice to have voice. your wits about you, hmm? Then you are a welcome customer. I trade for souls. Everything's for sale. Really? <laughs> okay, that's pretty devious. Throwing... Residence key. A thousand... No, I can't afford that right now. I'm sorry, so that's probably gonna help somebody. The scimitar. Oh, well, these got some cool weapons. I mean, I'm probably not going to use most of these. Got the shields. Those aren't going to help me. I already have good shields. Though, a bucket of shields probably mainly for parrying, so that might come in handy. You know, if I was actually good at parrying. Arrows. I've already bought arrows. I don't need that. Chain helm. Armor. Yeah, I don't need any of that armor. It's been a pleasure, Thank though. Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. I know, something seems sarcastic about that voice. I doubt it's sarcasm, but, you know... Niceties aren't very normal in this era, so kind of just have to assume everything's an asshole. Praise the sun. And now I'm gonna go actually kill a dragon, a woman. Terrifying. Anyway, so this is sort of the path I used to go uh, constantly build up souls. I just went up here. Granted, I didn't wear any armor, so I can move as fast as possible. Go around. Go up here, dragon is mad. Now I can go over. Now, now, now that I've done that, I can actually go and buy the residence keys. It's now got over a thousand souls to spare. Wow, you really suck. I would have deserved to get hit there. Ah, so that's why they were blocked. Even I was blocked trying to go there. Oh, there you are. Still keeping your marbles all together? Right and to go me. ahead, don't be a nitwit. Never hurts to splurge when your days are numbered. I mean, <laughs> probably true. I know you're just saying that to, uh, for me to buy things, but you know, you're not actually technically wrong if I'm already dying. Oh, so the guide and the soapstone is how you leave messages and rate them. Oh, that's cool. Allowing box allowing inventory management at bonfire. What? I'm just gonna keep the residence key for now. Thank you kindly. Okay. I do have some stuff like that. So I got the leave summon sign. That was how people can summon me to their world. Invade another world four times. Banish phantom slash return home. Okay. Reduce bleed up. Reduce poison. Inflicts fire damage, basically a grenade. Uh, prevents Estus recovery within a limited area. Okay, PvP type of thing. Homeward bone, return to the last bonfire rest. But Oculus, yes, nice. Copper coin of McLeaf. I'm still not sure what I'm gonna use that copper coin for. Maybe it's just a useless item. Anyway, I do know that that key will help me release somebody who will be useful to me. And that's all that really matters. Okay, I'm just gonna rest here. That way I can push up full HP. And the enemies are no longer harassing me. I'm bored. It's either annoying and angry. 
or bored. That's my two moods playing this game. Okay, now I got the bow and arrow. Change equipment. Where's the bow and arrow? There we go. Arrows will use the... And that does more damage. So. No, not that. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. Oh wait, you returned, thank goodness. I missed, but don't worry, that's why I bought so many arrows. Do you think I can just kill it from here? Slowly spam it to death. I missed again. Okay, so I think. So, so I think. Not so I think. I should be aiming lower. Are you kidding me? That that one definitely hit. I'm wasting all my arrows on this. If you're wondering what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to shoot its tail off. Because if you shoot its tail off, you get the Drake Sword. Which is like a really good sword. Okay, that was close. Yeah. What num gum style? Okay, I was trying to shoot it. Just get as close to this wall as possible. Wow. Sensational. I just missed. What am I wasting? This should be a good angle. I didn't know bow and arrows come, uh, come with crossbows like this. Come on, how many arrows does it take for your tail to come off? Yeah, that's a good shot. again entirely. Just go back to your thing so I can shoot your tail off. Oh, is that going to my poor car? And then I feel like a complete buffoon. Ah, I'm not the only person to do this. Again, I'm not sure exactly where I'm supposed to be aiming at. All I know is I'm supposed to be aiming at the tail. And not at a wall. I have wasted so many arrows. Okay, hold on. YouTube. That's basically my main place. Uh, Dark Souls Drake Sword. IGN, yes, wonderful. So they will go down. Start working on the dragon. Now, with my bow and arrow in hand, I start shooting his... Equip the bow and arrow. And also make sure to equip arrows in the hand. Or L. Arrows. They're aiming now, like you, really what low. you want to do is shoot his tail about 15 times. 15 times in the tail, okay. Thank you, IGN. Though they are getting at a closer angle, so maybe that's something to do with it. So let's switch over to the broadsword and let's go fight these guys. That way I'm not having to worry about them trying to kill me this entire time. Oh, Titanite Shard, wonderful. That's something I use for upgrade, isn't it? Why am I... Do 
I think that, yeah, they were at the middle one, weren't they? So 15 shots to the tail should be enough. Then their tail comes off, and then we get uh, the best early game weapon. Yeah, it's not good late game since it's quite well and expensive when up to upgrade. Since it's not even upgrading that much. I just... Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, this is a long process, isn't it? I've got to admit, for such a cheap thing, it's for like 10 souls. These are actually pretty effective at dealing damage. Well, not dealing damage, but they're well crafted. Definitely not good at dealing damage. Probably why they're so cheap, they're not good at tanking dragon stuff. Or much, really, but they're cool. I missed. I wonder how much damage have I actually done to the dragon? Okay, I was close. Perfect shot. Okay, yep, so you're gonna go back. And you're gonna do all this again. It said 15 shots. I don't know how many I've actually landed. I know I've wasted like 40. Nearly 40 now. And I fought. Shot 40 shots, but I don't think well, most of them have missed. But surely we're nearly there, right? Surely I've landed 15 shots by now. Must be a bit over 15 for normal arrows, I guess. Using some kind of special bow that does more damage. I just realised I haven't. I didn't even need to hold down the right button this entire time. There we go! I got it! I got it! Let's go. Where is it? 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 The Drake Sword. This thing is supposed to do crazy damage. I gotta use it. I'm gonna use it to kill the dragon. I'm fighting the dragon. Today, this, at least, I gotta kill one thing. I haven't killed shit this entire time I played this game. So, if I bait out enough of them, I'm pretty sure that the dragon just comes down on his own volition. There you are! That's not what I meant when I said come out on your own volition. I meant you. Give me a break. Okay, so the heavy. Drake Sword is heavy. Junior by the fact I'm now fat rolling. 20. Yeah, so I, I mean, I was always near the edge of it. We'll switch out for the hollow armor. That way I'm still wearing something on my chest. I don't feel fat. But I'm so happy I got the Drake sword. I'm Drake now. No, you weren't supposed to do that. Okay. I'm dead, aren't I? Nope, but I am running away to get to health. Screw that. I'm also 1 HP, so I'm not going to jump down, because I would have died there. I don't know what that status increase thing is, but what I do know is that I'm better now. I have made some major progress, I have magic, I have the drake sword, what else is there to get? Hold on, let me test this out, let me test this out. You need to die in the name of science. 190... 100... Okay, yeah, this is the sword. The other ones were doing like 70 and stuff, so this is... 
considering, you know, it's not like a giant slow swinging weapon. That is great. What does this, what does this scale with? What does it do extra damage with? I didn't need to know. Toggle display. Okay, so rep. So it doesn't have any bonuses by the looks of it. I don't know, so this, this is why it sucks late game. There's nothing to really make it go better with. Yeah, so this is basically what I did for fun so in the first place. Surely you gotta just chill out. Like, just come down. I got an idea. It's probably a bad idea now that I think about it. I'm still gonna do it though. Bad I missed. Yep, that was enough. That was enough. Where's the Drake Sword? He's already left, hasn't he? Yeah, okay, so just one arrow is enough to make him come over. So I have to quickly switch. Hey, man. What? That's not fair. Give me that. Give me that. I got the claymore. Doesn't matter. You may hit me once, but I'll never die. <laughs> Undead parish, wonderful, and I'm not dead. This is some major progress all in one video. Oh, that was kind of cheaty. But I have found a way to juke the dragon. That is major progress. It's slow, it's painful, but progress nonetheless. So you need a bow and arrow, and then I'm just sprinting it. I can't be bothered fighting it, not today. Again, maybe one day when I've got better stats, I'll come and kill it. Or maybe I'll just forget about it. Like every other boss, like the Moonlight Butterfly. I'm gonna have to come back for the round four for that thing. I'll probably find some kind of shield that has better magic resistance. That's how I'm thinking about handling it. Anyway, wait that out. Is this the gate to the other guy? Wait, no, this is just another gate, huh? Well, we've made progress. Happy no happiness ahead? That's actually a first. We've got a new fella ahead and all that. I've seen all of that before. And praise the sun, but I haven't seen one that says happiness on I mean, surely these, these guys aren't happy. This has probably got some major importance here, doesn't it? There's no way this doesn't have something important about it. So what is the happiness? Oh, so I'm sorry about the alarm um, shaming off sounds all the time. Oh, what is the happiness? Why is that? This is Dark Souls. Happiness isn't really a concept here. What, does Solaire appear here somewhere? Is this somewhere where Solar visits? I don't know, why does it say happiness head? Comment down below if you know why. I don't know, maybe maybe it's uh, something that happens after a boss fight. Anyway, I'm gonna pull this level. I don't know how far I'm making it in this video. Hold on, let me check how long I've been even going at this video. One hour and 14 minutes, you know? We'll make that like an hour and 30, why not? It's gonna take me forever to upload. It's probably gonna come at the very end of the day due to that, but maybe yet. Not, what if I'm not a coward? I'm Mark Flower. Ah. What, if I just, what if I don't run? What if I actually just fight them? I'll tell you what happens, I'll probably die, but you know, it's all worth it in the end, isn't it? 
So if I just hide behind this fire, they wouldn't burn themselves. They do burn themselves, it just does not do enough damage to kill this thing. As it just gets in my face and kills me. Kinda cheap, but fair enough. Rock so far. You know, I do feel like I'm learning something every video, and you know, that's something good. Oh, I didn't rest at the other bonfire, I'm an idiot. So now I have to go through the process of baiting the dragon out again. I mean, I get 555 souls out of it, so... I guess I don't mind returning here. I'm probably gonna grind out some more souls that way I can level up vitality and stuff. Because I only spent like, what, 10 minutes going to that 10th, 2 and 2 and 2 and numbers. They escaped me. I didn't even do anything that time, I just... appeared and bunk. Are you good? Uh, hello? Uh, oh, I don't have any arrows. How do I switch? Hold on. Item. Wooden arrows. Yes, that's something. It's not the same, but as long as it gets the job done. It's Are you really gonna try shooting me? Worth it. Ooh, loot. It wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. I just risked losing like what a few thousand souls. But I got some lighter equipment. The Hollow Soldier's waist cloth. Nice. How does this all pair together? Does not pair together at all. Okay, uh, you know we can stick with most of this. How do I look? Pretty bad. We'll go here. Now we can put that on. Let's keep the elite knights leggings. Let's just take that off. For the sake of rolling speed. This can go back to the Drake sword because it's Drake. Also, the sword does look pretty cool. I mean, it's not quite my taste, design-wise, but it's still pretty cool. And in fact, I could one-shot these guys, these supposedly tougher bosses. Anyway, I'm gonna find a way to shove a blade up that stupid box. One day, one day I will. Maybe we can talk about this. Oh, you guys have weapons! The alluring skull, I mean, it allured me, so I guess it's living up to its name. Hold us together. It's in here with me. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I never meant it for this to happen. Where's? Well, let's see how this goes. What's this? I got another one of these. Isn't that funny? That's not. That was not funny at all. There's no way you turn around quick enough to hit me after that. Yeah, so there's no way. That's not fair. He's got armor, like really good armor. That's not fair. You can't just beat me after that. I'm back to here, aren't I? Yeah, I'm here. And they're blocking each other. I'm dead, aren't I? What? Got past to the okay, that's... Oh man. Restorers, straight sword, regular the and thrust. Huh. I'm so bad at this game, I keep forgetting to go to the bonfire. And resting. I light it and then I forget to Oh my god, I I deserved it. I deserved it. I... To some capacity I deserved it all for that one. Anyway, you know how this goes. We go back here, we bait out the fire. It's all of money. Don't know why the soldiers just stand around there. They're just brain dead at that point. No. I still went into the fire. And then you start running. Now we've rested them on fire. Then 
then I can change over to uh, a Ledric Sword. How much is my equip load? 22, so I could actually equip something heavier, couldn't I? Could I equip... The normal Night Armor? No, that's still too heavy. Because this is way lighter, so that makes sense, I guess. Could I equip the... Uh, where? The Elite Night Guards? Doesn't really make much sense, but no, I cannot. Six. Nope, that's still over the equipment load. So no, this is basically the only load I, load I can wear. I am sorry for all of this. Dude, dude. Ring of sacrifice. Lose nothing upon the death. But wait, yeah, I'm not confusing that. Why is that closed? Why is the wall closed? Why is the gate closed? That's like really bad for me. Oh, like, why did it lock onto him? Him. You, the guy actively threatening me. Game, please. Oh. Here, here, the hog down there. Oh. That's not fair. Not fair world, I guess. No, you. Yes, you. Bait him out to attack. Hey, you're supposed to attack after I do. Oh, screw it. I'm just gonna kill you two. It's clear your mates don't want to protect you. Ooh, what did you roll? Hollow soldier armor. What does that look like? 7.8, so it's not ridiculously heavy. I'll take it. I'm still medium rolling, so I'll take that. I mean, I'm kind of looking hollow right now, so. Pretty logical. Wow, genius. Can you like just attack? Can I like attack back? Can I like attack back? I mean, it makes sense. He's thrusting up so he can use a shield. Whilst it's still annoying though. Oh. I just sound like a moan. Sorry, but I just heard like weird music. Basically the same. Hey. Come over here. He's tracking my movements, isn't he? Yeah, he's tracking it, okay. So what do I do here? That gate is locked. Because I closed it. Well, first of all, I'm going to try fighting this thing, because I'm an idiot. Actually, no, let's go down here. You can come here too. That's interesting to know. But it, hey, I, I'm trying to kill you. Get back. This was a trap. You bastards. Huh. Doesn't this place look familiar? Must be the asylum. Mystery key. Hmm. He probably doesn't have a guy. That's a joke, lads. It definitely probably has like a major significant advantage. Advantage. Uh it's importance. Hey uh, why am I up here? To what benefit does this area include? Oh wouldn't movement. Okay, so I got somebody's soul. And that's about it. That's all this area was for. Is it? Is it? Oh no, there's another ladder here. It's very dark, you know. But hey, would you look at that? Could we make him progress? That boss fight, please don't be a boss fight. Please just be another area. You don't actually have to be a boss fight here, right? You know that. You can just have mercy. The game had mercy on me for once. Turn around, don't turn around, he turned around. This bastard. And he jumped back whilst doing it. 
this bastard. Uh, stop turning around. I mean, stop backing away. Fight me. Did he say something? Fuck. Night shield. Okay, how does that hold up? How does that hold up to the normal shield? 60. Oh, it has more protection. And it weighs. It weighs less. Wait, no, it weighs more. It weighs way more. I'm blind. Okay, how much is this? 26, 20. Uh, it's just over the weight limit. I can't use it. I'll stick to this one then. It does kind of fit the outfit a little better. Darker compared to the bright colours of the shield. But hey, I'll, it's still nice. It's just the weight. I don't want to be heavy rolling. I'm not afraid of you. You're just going to attack me and then you're going to parry yourself, basically. I'm not going to attack you. Mate, if you don't attack me, I'm going to just grab my magical stick and blast you. Thank you. Do you want us to break these barrels? It's funny. <laughs> Is this just the other area and I've just found another way here? There's somebody behind me! I knew it. It is the other area. It is this area. Thankfully that guy looks like a sword user, not as the thrusting blade. Which means, way easier. Yeah, the drake blade is gonna carry me around this area. Because I can just start killing them quite easily. Apart from the spear guys, anybody who uses a thrusting thing, because they can hold their shield up. And they do. That's all they do. I mean, I could kick them, but the kick is the same input as the uh, heavy attack. Which usually means I'll probably do the heavy attack, hit the shield, and do nothing. Am I just going to push you out? Yes, yes I am. Hello? Keep moving. Move! Move! Hello? Okay, you know what? I'm fed up of you. Alright, cause I got a Drake sword And it means I can fight Oh, huh, now I'm around here You know what, I'm not a coward, I'm gonna fight you guys this time around I am one-shotting these guys They're like supposed to be royalty and it's these Be wary of left Oh, you mother... Thank you for the warning though, I'll give you that I need to go appraise that one time so the fencer guys, they're like tankier, they can just survive more damage, I guess. But thank you for the warning, I should praise that sometime. Nothing on the right. What was that? Oh, okay, now I'm scared, I'm, I'm leaving. There's mystical music sounds. So I'm gonna go uh, get the uh, what's it called uh, thing uh, bonfire. Get the bonfire, then I'll come back and I'm killing that big guy. What's this? Tight spot. Nope. You can just stay out there, right? Yeah, he, he's not gonna come in. Praise the sun. So he's so Lair's probably comes here. I oh, know, I felt like there was a secret room somewhere around here. I know there are secret rooms in this game, so... Hello, can I... Bonfire... Why can't I use the bonfire? Why can't I use this bonfire? Oh, that's because there's an enemy right here. Maybe that's why. Now can I use the bonfire? Yes, I can! I got really scared, like, why can't I shoot it anymore? What's happening? But it's because there was an enemy right next to me trying to jump me. Makes sense, makes sense. Ooh, the big guy doesn't actually fully teleport, he just... That's interesting. I really shouldn't fight him here. This is, like, really out of advantage. 
But I do decent damage. It's not like crazy damage, but you know, I'm kind of messing with that kind of damage. Wow, he was not as tough as I gave him credit for. Huh. Anyway, I'm just gonna go kill your range guy. Yeah, how does it feel? Give me your own treatment. Well, doesn't this look cult like? Yes, <laughs> I'm the guy in charge now, eh? I'm not gonna go back to buy the dragon, but I will, however, have a rematch with the Moonlight Butterfly. Because now I've got crazy damage on my side. But I'm curious how much this armor actually protects me from magic. So 16 magic damage. It's only one less, and it's way lighter, so I'll take it, I guess. How about the legs? Legs, 11, 11. Yeah, so this is the best one for leg protection. Okay. I guess I've got a pretty good loadout, why not? Might as well go with it. How if I just... What if I just drop the shield? Would I be able to light roll? No, I'm still medium rolling. How far am I away from? I don't know how, how much it is for light roll. I think it's 25%. Screw it, I'm gonna go full armorless. Then we can see... How much I can accomplish. And if I can't kill the Moonlight Butterfly now, I'm not going to be able to kill him ever. Okay, now uh, fully restocked on HP. Let's rush this. Granted, I'm going to have to now dodge the plant guys fully. No shielding. This guy's gone. No surprise there. He kind of felt like a mini area boss. I'm assuming they're the same as with the other guy, the giant metal guy. Since they both dropped Titanite Shards, I think that's just sets drop for them. I got two humanity. Yup, dodged. This felt like a delayed attack. God, it feels so much more freeing to not wear any of the heavy armor around. Also, they sound goofy as hell now, seeing, hearing them behind me. Also, Crest of Artorias means I'll be able to go back there. I don't think that's the way you get to the DLC though. Actually, it might be. Because I know you have to get to this Hydra area and then you'll find this thing to teleport over to Manus. Well, the DLC. Manus is the final boss. Manus. Manus. In theory, I could just use the magic at the beginning again. But at the same time, I don't really know how to use, like, switch between the weapons quickly. Let me check the controls. Switch weapon. Shift. Oh, so I switch. Okay. Oh, they're coming. Never mind. Not what I meant to do. I had the catalyst right there. I didn't mean to do that. And it missed anyway. I probably rolled that, but again, I really hate that rolled attack. I was too busy paying attention. Oh my goodness, this is it. This is it, I can feel it. I'm feeling the magic. Oh. 
Oh, see, this area is such a big area. Yeah, you're not liking this anymore, are you? You ain't the big fish anymore. I am. Uh, you ain't just anything. I will set the dogs there. God, I'm in power now. Powerful magic. I'm learning, I'm getting into the groove of dodging. I even know how to switch weapons now. It's over. You suck. Oh, wait, the second looks too explode. Hey, I win. Oh, oh no. I already know you're about to chain back. You suck. I knew that was about to open and they were going to come out. Oh. I beat you. I did it. I beat my first true boss. Oh my god, it's over. The nightmares. Also, it is pretty nice to build, beat my first boss. Also, it's nice to know how to switch between my weapons quickly. Well, kinda, I don't really know exactly what I'm doing, but hey, we'll do it. Only cost me two Estus flasks. And I am blitzing through the game now. I'm gonna be doing the speed run. Jesus, this game likes its stairs, doesn't it? Hmm. First of all, let's read this message. Death. Watchtower basement key. Divine Ember, Homeward Bone. I have 16,000 monies! I'm not gonna use the Homeward Bone, because that means I lose all my souls, don't I? Okay, so yeah. Uh, Homeward Bone. Though nerve, alluring, attracts certain types of enemies. Interesting. Return to the last bonfire, rest. Oh, it doesn't actually use that. Okay, why not? Use item. If it's really no harm, then why not? I get to keep my souls. Yeah, I do. Wonderful. Level up. Got to level up my dexterity for once. Level 15. Vitality. That way I can increase my equip load. And faith. I can't afford it anymore. Okay, just a couple more levels in faith. And I might be able to use the magic sword. I mean, I'm currently using the Drake sword, which works out fine. I don't need. Uh, you know, we'll keep it. It's no harm to have it on my back. It's not like it weighs anything. Does it? No, it doesn't weigh anything, so it's all fine. Now that I've done that, I don't actually know which direction I'm supposed to go. But we'll find that all out next video. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Like it. Like and subscribe and hold on. If I have it. Yeah. What an effective way to deal damage. And punch your wall! Anyway, we can see what happens next video, which will come out on Wednesday, depending on what video I decide to make about. Uh, I also know that if you can buy, if you make a upgrade a level, uh, probably English is escaping me, upgrade a weapon to plus 10. You know, costs a lot of souls and stuff, and then combine it with the soul of a boss. That's how you get the boss weapon. So I think it's some kind of sword that I need to get up to level 10, and then once I do that, I'll be able to combine it with the Moonlight Butterfly's uh, soul, and then boom, I'll have some kind of magical weapon for the Moonlight Butterfly. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe for more. Uh, comment down below if you want to see me do anything on the channel, whether that be a tabs thing. But please, if you can do a tabs like campaign put like the tags to how to find and things so I may struggle to find it. Also, um, I think it was Manish Alarm, I think, uh, asking me to do, I can't remember, I'm sorry if it's not Manish Alarm, but uh, asked me to do the Fantasy Evil campaign, I've already done it, you just need to go to my YouTube channel, go to playlists and you'll find the original tabs in-game campaigns and then you'll find eventually all the normal campaigns. Anyway, I'll probably continue playing Dark Souls and Lethal Company because I find it fun even if it's not as popular on the channel. Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe for more, and as always, have a good day.